Hi, my dear Yogi friends. So happy to be here on the mat with you again before, right before Christmas. This is actually the last week of Christmas, Christmas and uh, this is going to be my last flow before Christmas this year to you, share with you. And I hope you guys will enjoy this class with me. And today we will be, this flow will be focusing a bit on our stomach, spleen, the internal organs. We'll have a very gentle massage to our uh, belly, stomach. And uh, we'll also have some breath work accompanied with this flow. So during this flow, I would like you to um, always be aware of your breath work, of your inhale, in, inhalation and exhalation, and uh, keep a focus on your stomach and the spleen. And um, yeah, so this whole flow is very gentle and it's helping our body reactivate uh, and re-stimulate our internal blood circles. Um, yeah, so I hope this is beneficial to all of you and I hope you all enjoy this flow with me. Um, yeah, so, well, I mean, let's get started right now. See you on the mat. Okay, so we will stand in the front side of our mat, uh, feet hip distance wide, take a few breaths in and out just to connect our body to our breaths and to bring our awareness inward, focus on this flow, focus on the breath work and enjoy this flow. Just bring the awareness inward. You can also keep your eyes, inhale, inhale, take the air in, exhale, let it out. Now gently inhale, lift your arms up, up, up to the sky, lengthen the side body, feel the lengthening of the torso, stay up and tall, and Exhale, gently bend at the hip into a very gentle forward fold. You can keep your knees bent. We'll stay here, feel breath. Just feel the stretch on the hamstring, on the back side of our hip. And feel the gravity pulling down our crown. And from here, bring the uh, feet towards each other, big toes touching each other. And gently put our weight on the balls of our feet and bring the hip down to touch the heels. The hands can be on the floor to support our body for the balance. But of course, if you can, if you want to challenge yourself, you can also lift your hands off the floor, place them on top of your side, and gaze forward. Spine tall, chest up, open. We'll stay here for the balance. And gently hold your shins with both hands, you can hold off, you can hold with each hand on the elbow, elbows of each arm and tuck your chin inwards and bring your forehead to the knee. Bring your attention inwards, feel the blood flow coming downwards to your heart. From here, gently, if you are not 
and on, on the balls of your feet, gently lift your heels and place your hand underneath your soles of your feet, a little bit close to the heel, to the heels of your feet. And we'll do, we'll come back to sit our, on our hip with a momentum, but with your hand still holding the feet. And then we'll transition into a boat pose, holding the feet, keep the hands holding the feet. And you try to kick the feet, kick both feet to, into the hand and feel this pull and push feeling between your feet and your hand. Keep your um, body, your torso up tall, chest open, core strong. If you want, if you can, if you want to challenge yourself, you can kick the heels up to the sky and lengthening the legs, straightening the knees. Suck the belly button in. Keep the gaze at one spot for the balance. And gently bring the soles of your feet together in front and place them in front of you, a bit far away from your hip. Not so close and adjust your sitting position. Sit up and tall, we'll be here in this seated bound angle pose. Uh, for some of you, if you want, you can also bend at your hips coming forward. three rounds of breath. Now gently lift your body up and come to sit in the middle of the mat. Adjust your sitting position in the mat a little bit and We'll stretch the legs out in front of us and come into a staff pose. Keep your upper body uh, 90 degrees angle perpendicular to the mat and your thighs are very straightened, outstretched in front of you. Your, your feet are flexed and your toes are pointing towards yourself. Breathe in and out. Now from here, gently bend the right knee and place the right foot, right sole of the foot into the inner side of the left inner side and adjust yourself to face left knee. Take a big inhale, lift and straighten your upper body Exhale, bend forward into the left knee. Forehead, try to bring the chest forward instead of downwards. So make sure you don't round your back. Your back, your lower back is straight and beautifully flat. And gently reach your forehead to the knee. If you stay here, it's totally fine. You know, just stay at the edge where you feel comfortable, but not that comfortable. Try to push yourself a little bit more if you can. For those of you who are very flexible, of course, you can keep the forehead. You can rest your forehead on your shin if you want. Feel the stretch on the right side of the lower back. And also feel this inward intention and blood flow in your stomach. Have a little gentle and soft squeeze of our stomach. Now gently lift yourself up and lift the right knee. Place the right foot outside of your left knee. 
Sit up and tall. Inhale, lengthening your spine. Exhale, twist to the right. Place the uh, left elbow to the outside of the right knee and plant, plant your right hand behind of you. Gaze back. Just squeeze a little bit more when you exhale um, of your belly. Um, because we twist at our belly button level. So every time you exhale, just feel the squeeze, a little bit squeeze more. And now come back to center, we'll change side. Extend the right leg out in front of you and bend the left knee, place the left foot to the inner right side and sit up and tall. Face the right foot and now inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, bend at hip, not lower back, chest forward, not down, gaze also forward until until you reach that edge that you cannot go forward anymore and gently round your neck, place your forehead on your shin bone or on your knee and just enjoy here, enjoy this squeeze, enjoy this folding of your stomach, feel the squeeze of your organs and of course feel the stretch of your left lower back. Now gently lift yourself up and we'll place the left foot on the outside of the right knee and twist to the left. Spine tall, both sit bones grounded to the floor. My view right now is very beautiful. The sun is setting and I have some birds flying around outside of my window every day. I'm thinking of building or buying them some bird nests to hang on the tree because they're so cute and I have this big farmyard in front of me. It's very peaceful. All right, come back to center. And now let's bend both knee and come into a kneeling position. I am going to be facing you guys. So you can see me clear, uh, more clearly, see my instructions more clearly. So now we are sitting on our shin bones, we are kneeling, and we will do this frog pose, which is how you're gonna do this frog pose. You're gonna uh, take both of your hands out and um, place your thumb, your thumb finger in words, and then hold the other four fingers, wrap the other four fingers around the thumb, like hold like a fist, and play the hands, the fist on the uh, side of your navel, just place there and take big inhale, like we're coming into a child's pose, big inhale, and exhale, chest forward, forward, feel the pressure from your fist to your stomach. Don't lift your sit bone off the ground. Make sure they're grounded on the floor. And lastly, place your forehead on the ground. Just feel this fist massaging around um, your stomach, the side of your stomach. We'll stay here for a little bit longer, around eight breaths. Focus, bring your attention, your awareness on the stomach. Feel the blood circulation coming inwards and coming into those organs. It's like you are, uh, you are taking out the toxins, the, the old 
blood flow out and bringing new and fresh and clean blood flow into the organs. Now gently lift yourself up, release the fist, and I am going to come back in my normal position, however you stay at where you are, and now we all uh, will open our knees a little bit wider and bring the hands behind our lower back, form a fist, interlace our fingers, Pull down, open the chest, open the collarbones. Inhale, open, 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 and pull the hands down into the mat. Exhale, come all the way, bring the forehead to the mat. And stretch out, stretch the arms out behind your head as far as you can. Five rounds of breath here. And release the hands and place them out in front of you, stretch them out in front of you. Press yourself a bit more into the mat. Now we will flow it out. We will flow between child's, child's pose and a cobra. So we will gently transition from child's pose into tabletop and into a cobra. Now slowly round your back. Inhale. Round, round, round. Inhale, inhale, inhale. And exhale. Bring your hip down. Inhale here. Exhale. Gently bring the hips back to the heels. Come back into child's pose. That's one round. So now we'll keep flowing like this with your own pace. Inhale, round, 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 round until you're at tabletop and go a little bit shoulder, shoulder above the wrist and before and in front of the wrist, press and exhale. Inhale in cobra, exhale, bring your hips back. few more rounds at your own pace. When you come into a cobra pose, just imagine that you try to dip your hip down into the mat, like intentionally dip the hip down into the mat. And this is a little gentle back bend. Now we'll have a little fun. So when we come on the tabletop, shoulders passing the wrists and we'll place the left hip bone into, dip the right hip into the mat and gaze to the back from the left. And then come into center and to the left. Make sure you keep breathing here and bring the hip back to heels. So we'll do it a little bit faster. Right, dip to the right, center, left, and back.
right center, left back, exhale back. Two more times like this. And then we'll change direction. We'll do it a little bit faster. Dip to the left, center, right. Two more times. Now let's come back into child's pose for one round of breaths. And gently move yourself into a cobra and gently place yourself down and place fold your arms in front of your forehead one on top of each other uh, one on top of another and rest your forehead on top of your hand on top of your arm forearm you can massage your belly, your stomach by moving your hips right and left. Sway them right and left. Feel the release also on your lower back and feel the massage on your stomach. Let the breath out. And gently come back to center and release the hands. Come and flip your body. Come to the back of your body and face up. Bend both knees and Bring them close to the chest. Hold, wrap the arms around the shin bones and press them in towards your chest, like really pressing. When you press in, exhale. Let the tox toxins uh, inside of your organs, your stomach out and squeeze even tighter. And now let's extend the, the left leg out behind us on the mat and bring in the left knee even closer to your chest. Squeeze. And don't forget about the breath. Switch legs, bring the left knee and squeeze it into your chest. Now let's bend both knees and straighten both legs, pointing the toes towards the sky, hands neck resting next to your body and form this 90 degree angle with your torso and your legs. Feel the uh, reversion of the blood flow coming downwards and into your heart center. We'll stay here for a few rounds of breaths. For those of you who find this pose a bit hard, you can always find a wall and to um, hold the legs on the wall for support or you can hold um, with your hands behind the knees for support or you can bend the knees and just 
hold it like this, like a spoon. But for those of you who want to challenge your core a little bit, hold, hold it like this. Stay here for a few moments. Feel the reversion of the blood flow. And gently bend the knees. We'll come into an easy plow pose. Lift your hips off the floor. Use a bit of core strength and momentum. And place the hands behind your lower back for support. And gently, when, when your hip is on top of your... Mm, when your hip is on top of your... Um, sorry. When your knee is on top of your hips, bend the knee and bring the knee gently to touch your forehead. Hands can be extended back from back in the back for support on the mat or keep them on the lower back. Feel the contractions and watch the contractions of your belly when you breathe in and out. Lift the hips up. And gently release the hips down on the mat and extend the legs back. Reach the hands, the arms on top and just extend and stretch your entire body. Now that's release, bend the knees and come to lay on the side of your body, whichever side, doesn't matter. I am on my left side. And bring one arm and rest one arm on top of another. Take a big inhale, exhale. Only move the top arm back, swing it back to the other side. Open the chest to the sky, gaze kind of follow to the right, or gaze up to the sky. Main, while maintaining your lower body in the same position, just twisting your upper body from the chest, from the belly, We gently come into center and come to lay on the other side, fold the arms, one on top of another, and take inhale here, exhale, peel the arm all the way to the other side. Open up the chest, twist. Gently come back to center. Hold your legs in one more time. Squeeze them into the chest. Bring the forehead to the knee. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And roll the length of your spine into a seated position. We'll come back to sit in the middle of our mat.
bring the now we'll come into a half lotus pose bring the right leg right foot the um, the top of our foot right foot to rest on the inner this this growing line just try to rest this top of the right foot on top of this inner growing line just as close as possible keep the right knee down on the mat this is half lotus pose I, I, I think I can only do half lotus I have done full lotus but my other foot will be so sore and so stretched out in the end I'm not that flexible but half lotus will do the benefit as well inhale stay up and tall twist to the right see if you can hold swing your right arm all the way in the back and see if you can hold the right big toe or right foot if you can you can hold the foot if you cannot just place the right hand behind uh, your hip this will do the benefit as well just twist here There are a lot of twists in this flow. And twists are always good for our inner um, organs and digestion system of our body and help improve the blood circulation. It is really good, the twisting postures. Now let's come back to center and change side. We'll, do, we'll place the left foot on top of the right in the groin line it's this um, between the hip and the leg place it on top there place a knee down <sighs> inhale tall spine so twist to the left see if you can swing your left arm all the way to hold the left foot release come back to center relax the foot and just come into an easy sitting position so the last of this flow we will do a breast work um, this is a, a very uh, beneficial breast work that is to hold our breast and keep our prana inward and downward into our heart and bring the energy downwards into our stomach system so we will do three times and the first time I will give you a very clear instruction on how to do it take a big inhale like as big as possible possibly you can try to suck the air in as much as possible with your nostrils in and hold it hold it with your mouth completely closed and bend your neck bring the chin to the chest and we will hold there for as long as we can and then we release this is one round we'll do three rounds okay so follow my voice inhale through the nostrils hold up and close the mouth bend the neck hold the breast here for as long as we can you can count release through the nostrils this one round we'll do another two rounds inhale hold up
intention is also try to re-regulate our breath through our nostrils, not through our mouth. Last one, inhale. So the nostrils. I'll come back into a normal breathing. This breath holding is called a bandha. And it's a very good breath technique to re-regulate our breath system and to bring the intentions, the awareness, the breath prana inward and keep the energy flow balanced inside of us all right i hope you enjoy today's flow um yeah so this is gonna be christmas soon this weekend and i also wish you guys have a very um, happy blessing um, fun Christmas with your families and uh, well I hope next week I will push I hope I have the time to push out another flow before New Year and I will see you soon bye bye Merry Christmas